that you forget the instinctive part of throwing was just let it rip. Pressure coming, and down he goes. Atling sack, TJ Smith was in there, along with Randy Ramsey. And Jason, that is an opportunity for Arkansas defensively. LSU has given up 21 sacks coming into this game. They play gum games up front, a little line sun up inside that happens at night typically in these parts. Love the body paint, it said go veterans in the French spelling that was of goal. Cool. Third down for Etling. Pressure coming down the middle, and Etling fans it out to the sideline for a nice grab from D. Anderson, the sophomore out of DeSoto, Texas. Anderson on the catch, and Cameron Curl, the true freshman, had it perfectly covered. You can't cover it any better than that. What you can do better is make a better play on the ball at the end. Great when he's done just that this season. Etling on second down. Etling lobs it sideline. Chark lost his man. DJ Chark waltzes in. Touchdown LSU. We talked about LSU needing to find their vertical pass game. They had opportunities against Alabama and it went to hurry up and try to pound this one into the end zone. And they do. Touchdown Razorbacks, Devwa Whaley late in the first half. And that's where this Arkansas defense is, or offense is pretty darn good, is they know how to close out drives. 74% touchdowns once they get down there, nicked up, so that hasn't been well established this season to date. Geis around the left side, puts his head down. Touchdown! Oh, a battering ram into the end zone, Darius Geis. JB, a lot more zone running on this drive, which means it's really kind of a, a scheme up front to get the offensive line going. It is better than what we saw last week. Fake the stretch play, run the screen the other direction. And this is going to go for a while. The tight end all the way down the field will Gregg across the 40 yard line. It's a gain of 33. When we talked about this in the first half, Arkansas might be the best screen team in the country, and it's old school screens, running backs and tight ends being led by offensive linemen that get out there and sort guys out really well, and that was a great screen to Greg the, Greg the tight end. That's right, and they didn't on guys there. One more time. They pick the right guy. He strolls in. Darius Geis creating separation with every step. And Darius Geis with the spike himself. Look at the speed. Third and nine for Etling and LSU. Chuck has some steps. Once again. A big play for DJ Chark. Touchdown LSU. Sixty eight yards on the touchdown. Stadium in history. Yeah, in the meantime, DJ Chark is down below. He's going to simply run a vertical. It doesn't get much easier than this. It's called a nine route in a lot of schemes, and the freshman Cameron Curl is settling his feet a little bit at the top of that route, and Chark just goes by him. And Chark is the vertical weapon. He's beaten both Tolliver and Curl now in today's game. Chark, who was averaging more than 23 yards per catch coming in. 
is at four for 130 today, helping that number. That's over 30. Had one of them last year. He's got another one today. Geis pushing. Touchdown. Well, this really is what LSU's offense was supposed to look like all year. And guys got banged up in camp and then was getting healthy early and 